Yeah, we could have burned through a lot of ammo. What's going on guys? You're watching The Hungry Handgunner. I'm Nick and today we're going to talk about these things. The ears, uh, ear protection. So I know a lot of us, probably myself included, and I'm not particularly old, although some of my younger co-workers uh, disagree with that. A lot of us grew up in things like 22 and whatnot we wouldn't put ear protection on for, or just a little bit of shooting wouldn't put ear protection on for. Well, I can tell you now at 31 with tinnitus and that flaring up from time to time, hearing protection is a really, really good idea. And that's part of what I'm going to be doing today is I have a review for you that I have been working on. So I was lucky enough to get sent out a pair of these Axel uh, tracker muffs. They're electronic hearing protection, meaning that they have microphones and speakers and circuitry and tech inside of them. And the cool thing about that is when I'm wearing these, I can hear. You and I can be having a conversation. I can hear just fine. It's great for shooting with other people. Heck, it's great for just being out here shooting by myself. I can hear if a car's coming up uh, to see what's going on or if my wife hollers at me from the house. Uh, depending on what she's hollering about, I may or may not be able to hear her. But I can hear these things, but at the same time there's circuitry in here that when something above a decibel rating, certain decibel rating, and I'll put that in there because I can't remember off the top of my head, uh, when something above that decibel rating goes off, these things cut out the microphone and the speakers and you do get 25 decibels, I believe, of noise reduction rating. So a lot of you guys know that I had been wearing the Walker uh, razors for a while. Good ear pro, but night and day difference in comfort for me with the axle. Uh, these are a lot more comfortable to wear under an extended shooting sessions. You know, when I come out here and I'm shooting on my own, when I'm done shooting, I can take them off. I need to load mags, things like that. And didn't really notice a comfort issue with the walkers until I started doing more prolonged shooting, shooting with a group of people, um, shooting at a public range where other people are still shooting even if I'm not. That's where I really started to appreciate these. And I was just like, wow, my ears don't hurt. It's not too much tension. They're very comfortable. The padding is great. And for me, with my ear piercings and whatnot, sometimes uh, uh, the other ear protection will kind of pinch those in and it's uncomfortable or whatever. Not the issue with these. These have been phenomenally comfortable. Um, fantastic. Now, these were given to me to review free of charge, but I do think I'm going to order another set for my wife because they are great. As far as the noise reduction rating and things like that, I don't have the equipment to test that out. Um, I'm not really knowledgeable enough to give you, you know, any kind of information on that. But what I can tell you is that uh, no tinnitus flare-ups after shooting everything from 22s on up to 308s and 50 AE and all the stuff that really kind of sucks. But no issues even wearing these. So that being said, guys, if you want to double up on EarPro, I'm not going to fault you for that. And, you know, put plugs and then muffs. But these axles have been great so far. Uh, they are electronic, so that means that it might be a good idea to keep some extra batteries in your range bag. It uses two AAAs, so I have had zero issues with that so far. Just remember to turn them off, guys. You can see in there, two AAAs, a little cover, slides on. Um, no issues with the cover coming off. No issues with any kind of failure wearing them. Uh, you might get a little bit of static every now and then playing with like your cell phone or something like that kind of interferes with the electronics just a little bit nothing crazy you also do have an auxiliary input there so if you wanted to run some sort of comms or listen to music a uh, guy gun drummer i think he <laughs> probably does stuff like that but very comfortable very sleek looking i like them quite a bit you do have your wheel here click goes on um Make sure you hear the click when you turn it down, and that's going to be with any electronic hearing protection. The last thing you'd want to do is leave that on or have it get knocked on in your bag, get to the range, and it's dead. Now, they will still work as muffs if that happens, but you lose the cool aspect of being able to hear what goes on around you, and that's really cool. And from a safety perspective as well, electronic hearing protection is actually a really cool thing to have. Um, you can hear if there's an issue, you can hear whatever's going on. I like having electronic hearing protection. I don't go to the range without it anymore. So am I spoiled? Probably. My wife would definitely tell you yes, but they are very, very comfortable. Uh, I'm not a model, but I'll put them on for you. So, as you can see, pretty snazzy, right? I think they look good. They're sleek. They're black. They're great. Um, as far as how they compare in size to something like the Walker Razors, I have mine out here. They are a little bit bulky because I put a comm set on them, which we'll talk about in a second. Here are my walkers. Uh, I do have that walkie-talkie add-on that they sell for them. So that does bring me to another point here. Um, we'll get to in just a second. I want to try to get a side-by-side -side 
of the muff thickness. Let's see if you guys can see there. So these are a little bit thicker, but where that really comes in is the padding itself to me is the bulk of that thickness and that's worth it. So the aftermarket is definitely stronger for the walkers. If you have the needs for comms, things like that, um, I've got a group of guys that I like to train with. We all have comms, we all have our channels, sub channels, all that set up. So that's good there, um, but it's not the end of the world. For just plain shooting, I'm grabbing the axles every time. These are kind of relegated to uh, whatever I need the comm side of things. Now, as far as what the uh, aftermarket holds for axle products, I don't know yet. I can try to reach out and find that information out if you guys are interested, and I'll put it in the pinned comment. But I don't know right now. I do know that these are super comfortable. I've had no uh, reliability issues with them up to date. And if that changes, I will let you guys know. Fortunately, I say that in a lot of videos, I'll let you know if something doesn't work out or whatnot, but very few cases has that been the case. I've been very lucky with what I get, apparently. I don't have very much issues, and you guys know I come out and shoot quite a bit. So, guys, if you're on the fence about getting these axles, super comfortable, they work super great. The audio is a little bit more crisp than the walkers as well as hearing what's going on around you. I notice I'm able to understand people easier with the axle trackers. So there will be a link in the description if you want to go uh, snag some of these. They are great. Um, it is an affiliate link, so it does help the channel out some. But do with that what you will, guys. Stay safe. Keep shooting. Wear your ears. Uh, keep your ear pro in your range bag. If you're not going to keep these in there or, or, or something, keep some cheap earplugs. Something. Nobody wants to deal with tinnitus. Um, and it's better to have selective hearing loss. If you catch my drift, you guys with wives. Uh, we all have selective hearing loss to some degree, but the permanent hearing loss of tinnitus sucks. For you young guys I think you're 10 feet tall and bulletproof, that's going to start changing pretty quick. So ask me how I know. Anyway, protect your ears. It's one of your five senses. It's a pretty important one, and nothing sucks worse than getting hit with a tinnitus attack or flare-up or whatever you want to call it and getting dizzy and needing to sit down for a second. You feel a lot older than you are. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.